Welcome everyone, Farmer Cap here for episode 11 of the podcast. Let me tell you something. It is New Year's Day in Washington, January 1st, 2023, and we are starting to this recording at 2.18 in the morning. We have, I am trying to switch back to a normal schedule after working being done with Graveyard now, um, and I'm still struggling to do it, and I slept for 12 hours today, so I am wide awake. I have Thesey here with me. This is also a spontaneous podcast. And we have another guest who is going to go by Avery for the podcast. So we have Avery. Avery, say hello. Hello. So there you go. And Thesey. Hey. So, and we are all jacked up on sugar and caffeine because that's how we roll. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, lots of Mountain Dew mostly. Not for me. I am <laughs> I mostly stuck to coffee and I'm also drinking a coffee right now, fully caffeinated because I'm not a quitter, everyone. Okay. So <laughs> that's how we roll. That's you're you're your... doubling down. Doubling down. You're all doubling in. down. Um, and you might also wonder, wow, do they have a plan? No, no. absolutely not. Just no. like the last one. When have I yeah. ever? Um, and T is not here. I know it's weird that T is not here, but uh, T didn't come to my New Year's party, so yeah. it's kind of on him, I think. Yeah. Um, mm. So that's your fault, T. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I love <laughs> T. T would not have done it by this late. I'm surprised he did it as late as he did last time, to be honest with you. T likes to sleep, and uh, who can fault him? Um, but yeah, so in the farming simulator world, nothing's changed because the giant software have been out of the office since the last time we were on here, and that's yeah. fine. It's fine which, and dandy. Which, and I just feel like it should be, I mean, this is being filmed before you even posted the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so, we don't know if you guys liked it, but if you, you can't that's hate true. one. That's true. You haven't decided if you hate me or not, um, so yeah, you're stuck with me anyways. And I actually have a great farming simulator related thing we can do. Oh, um, okay, so the new season, year two season pass was released, and a- uh, Avery here likes to video game. Yes, on occasion. One over on occasion, whenever you have time to video game. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Occasion. <laughs> on occasion on when occasion. I can, but I'm a student, and so, you know, I've, yep. I've got a ton of crap to do, unfortunately. Other things, more important things. Yes. More, well, more important things. Air quote, more, more important things. More responsible things to do. More responsible That's things That's what people tell me, at least. Um, and I'm actually going to put this on, I should be able to do it on the actual thing oh no i messed it up i did it the wrong side it's okay i'll edit that out no i still messed it up all right everything's great so what you're seeing on your screen uh if you're watching the video because i forget somebody watches on youtube so they might as well see what we're looking at mm-hmm. but this is what they announced with the year two season pass now you guys knowing pretty much not because neither of you guys play farming simulator i do not no yeah so even though you game you play a lot of minecraft which is great i that's my probably my second favorite game um and Thesey doesn't play you play 2k at your house here today so i do that yeah i play minecraft do you play minecraft yeah why don't i, I know this i feel like this has come up in conversation I, it has to it has to <laughs> yeah i mean i i'm not as serious about it as i used to be um i've kind of burned out but you know i i play if other people are playing and that sounds like a lot of twitter talk to me but that's uh besides the point so um okay well, well we'll have to do some minecraft playing i should get you guys on the one with the minecraft series Hmm. I think we tried to do this last time. And to be fair, I play Minecraft here and there, but I do get motion sick and have to give up pretty quickly. (laughs) (laughs) So I would hate that so much. I mean, if you really love a game and it makes you motion sick. Oh, it sucks. It really sucks because then I try to push through it and it just, it's what I imagine people deal with with car sickness because I don't get that. Mm, I don't get car sickness either. Me neither. I remember when I went to the, when I was at the police academy, we did a week of driving. Just crazy driving, obviously, because we just—it was so much fun. Sounds like a great time. And I, most people don't get car sick a lot of times when they drive because they control it, right? Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. we get car sick. But when someone else drives, and when the instructors would drive us around the course, they literally do this for a living. They only train cops how to drive. That's their full-time job. By the way, dream job. Second off, um, <laughs> other than maybe YouTube full-time. No, I'd probably rather be a police instructor. Sorry, I love you, but not that much. Uh, anyhow, uh, so driving fast like a race car drive on the track would be really fun. So when we get there, they get us all in the car. So some of us are in the back seat of like this little like Chevy, <laughs> Chevy Caprice sized vehicle. Oh. And then they're like, they're like this. They're driving with one hand, the course like this, looking at us. Look, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm like, as if you were talking to someone in the back seat of your car. They're not looking at the road and they're driving a hundred plus miles an hour around these corners. And we, by the way, have never experienced this before. So we are holding on for dear life in that car. Dear life. Wow. And then at the end of it, after he's like calmly explaining it, driving with one hand without looking at the road, he goes, did you guys get all that? And we're like, we're like, we didn't, we didn't get any of it. None of it. None of it we got. We were so scared. The fact that we were about to die. Yeah. We were so focused on the fact that, and one time I got in the car with them and I didn't have it, I didn't get my seatbelt on fast enough. So he's driving that way. And I was like, my seatbelt's fine. He's like, you'll be fine. That's what he said. Stay behind. I'm like, so I'm putting, literally we're driving a hundred plus and I'm in a car. I don't have anything else on. I'm trying to put, I can't put it on because the car's driving that fast. It won't let you buckle up. 
Yeah. Anyhow, it was kind of fun. But anyhow, so everyone would get motion sick, but I was so about it because I don't get motion sick that every time the instructor's like, you might want to ride through the course, like anytime they're grading someone else or riding through the course, because they would literally like drive that speed right behind you. They would tailgate you and they'd have a radio and they'd be commenting on your every driving move while they're behind you and you're hearing it. It was obnoxious. <laughs> well, you're hearing it. And you're hearing it. That sounds not distracting at all. Yeah, and let me tell you, most of us just ignored them and drove because we're like, we can't focus on both. We weren't we weren't there yet. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. So I would always try to ride with them, but everyone else would be like, oh, I'm motion sick. I can't. Or be getting sick, but I loved it. So that's where my tangent went there. <laughs> that's fair. I don't think that I'd be able to emotionally handle that. I think that I would be <laughs> bawling my eyes out at the wheel. Like, <laughs> fair I enough. can't do this. But you can handle riding in a car for a little bit later. Oh, 100%. Uh, you know... I say that 100%. Okay, you saw how I, fast I drove in a body cam video earlier today. But I think we're driving. Like, I could drive okay. that. But if I'm riding and someone else is driving, I have a lot less trust because I'm not behind the wheel. <laughs> doesn't matter me? who it is. I mean... I love, thank you for throwing in that doesn't matter watching, who it is. After watching the body cam <laughs> I have doubt yeah i trust you <laughs> thank you thank though, you easy yeah though i grew up in a family where everybody drove fast so I'm just That's kind of, i've heard some of your stories i'm just kind of used to it so it's like it yeah. just doesn't face me. i wish that i wish that just regular civilians could go through the the police the police, the police emergency <laughs> oh, vehicle operation course yeah, that would be great. great because be a lot of fun. i uh would love to be able to drive at high speeds all the time what you should okay. do and I'll, I'll try to let you know if and i ask if i can We've had people come on ride-alongs on the days we do EVOC training, which is emergency vehicle operator oh, yeah. course, and they ride along with the officer while we do it. You can't drive still, yeah. but you get, like, the craziest of our driving. Because during training, it doesn't matter what happens, because it's not the real world. You so we, we go 100%. Yeah, you got to let me know. Okay. I, okay. I, would be, I would be down. Yeah, that it is like a great time. It is a lot of fun. Last time they had, like, this, they rented this, like, empty parking lot, and we were driving so fast around corners. One time, I accident like, we did... One of the, I, we did like J turns in the SUVs, which is where you're going re reverse really yeah. fast and you mm -hmm. flip the car around while you're driving backwards yeah. and quickly shift it and drive and go. That sounds like so much fun. It was fun. so much fun. It's so bad for the cars. <laughs> bad. We but, sold out so many of our cars. Like, you know, car versus experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, <laughs> yeah. we're not allowed to do J turns in the real world when we're on patrol, but we know how to do this. Could you imagine that? On you like, just see a cop like do a, a J cam? turn? Yes. If you were a bad guy and you were going to run from the police and you saw the cop do a J turn to get behind you, you'd be like, all right, I give up. Yeah. If he can do that successfully without yeah. crashing, it's like, okay, we're, we're good. We're done. Are you kidding me? If, which I wouldn't be. If I was a criminal and I saw that, I'd be like, oh my, did you just see that? Wow. <laughs> did we get that on film? I just how they did that. <laughs> the body cam video would be so funny for that because you'd be looking forward also, like, looking the other way, like, what in the world? But, It'd be the coolest thing ever. I'd be yeah. like, I hope they get me. I hope, I hope they, get me. <laughs> they get me. Well, you both should go on a ride along with me at some point. I know if he's you want soon. I, I don't know. I'm pretty much a passenger driver while well, I will like correct you and be like, mm, Oh, that's fine. Know. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> okay. don't do that. I'll be holding and I'll just look like I don't trust you. Just, just don't do it when I'm on a code run. Like, because <laughs> then it'll all be recorded, the audio. The car. <laughs> that would be the most fun though. And then my department would be like, we decided to investigate you for this one call. I'm like, no. She's like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't you do just, that. You mean just, Avery? Yeah, you just, ah, <laughs> What time stamp? 826. That's okay. All right. That's okay. Of course it's going to happen. I still Easy, you didn't do it first. I well, did not then. do it first. Uh, yeah, I, I was concerned that I was gonna, I was gonna be the one that messed up. Sorry, I messed it up. Yeah, we need to get you like a gotcha. hashtag. <laughs> the, the yeah, last, don't tell Starbucks. Last two times now, you've been the one to mess up. I, I mean, wow. if you watch my channel at all, people know I'm usually the one to mess up. So. <laughs> That's fair. People know. But anyway, okay, back to this. This is what they announced. So they're gonna okay. release four packs and then a big expansion, and they give like little hints and photos, mm -hmm. but they don't tell us what's gonna happen. Okay. So okay. I want to know your guys' okay. unknown <laughs> oh, opinion of what gosh. each is gonna be. So pack one, it says take bailing a step further. It has a picture of a bail with a corn icon on it. What do you think is gonna be in that pack? I would like to first start out by saying I've never farmed that I know. Um. So, like, anything I look at is not going to be accurate of, like, what I say, and I'm sure that it's not going to make sense. These and I have the same question. <laughs> what, do you know if you, what do you mean you don't know if you farm? I don't know. I have lost a lot of memory. <laughs> I'm a very forgetful person. You've had some concussions. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> You've had a rough go. I haven't remembered all of them, but oh, I've been told about God. them. So, yeah. you know, when it comes to, like, Farming things, like, yeah, I've, I've bucked hay, if that's what they still call it, and 
you know, I could I could look at something and be like, sure, that looks like agriculture, okay, but I can't tell you what's yeah. going to happen. That's more farming experience than I look at have. I look at one, I look at one and it looks like corn, and you say corn, and then I also think, you know, it kind of looks like a tulip. Yeah, I was going to say, like a tulip. <laughs> I'm glad I said corn. So that just, I'll give you this one hint. That is the corn icon from the game. Oh, God. Oh, so that God. is what that, I know that's so going to We're not, we're not bailing tulips. <laughs> Do you know because... what this makes me feel like? You remember, like, when you'd be in school and they'd ask you a question in class, and the first thought is you're like, I have no idea, but you don't want to be the stupid kid in class. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know, like, an easy answer wrong. That's exactly yeah. how I feel. <laughs> okay, well, don't worry. There's no wrong answer here. So yeah, I think there, there might be. The Baylor. tulip bailer. The, yes. The tulip bailer. That's got to be what it is, right? It's got to be what it is. You're gonna, All right. Easy yeah. votes on the tulip bailer. The tulip bailer. Got it. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It looks <laughs> like, one. okay, well, it looks like a bale of hay. Okay. But there's a corn icon on it, and so that's really confusing because you don't just roll out corn. you got to plant it, but that's, you know, not a bale of hay. So, you know, I... But you can bale corn. No, how? You, you can, what does you that You bale the stalks. Like? Yeah, you can. It's possible. Well, then or I guess... you bale corn. Well, that's probably what it is. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know that. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know. I didn't want to give you guys exactly. that. So uh, I'm going to vote for that. Oh, for obvious Wow. Reasons. So Avery's probably going to write these yells and make you feel... <laughs> So I think we go around inferior, inferior. For sure. So round one's Get definitely on my easy. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. So I can't wait to see you guys turn back to pack two is a picture of a mountain with some flowers and grass in front of it, That's what and it says to machines. To yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was? I just thought they messed up. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. I just thought there was like something on the screen that they're like, oh, we'll touch on that later. Yeah, multi million dollar cover. Well, they you, messed up their graphics. Like, it's like a two dimensional like background with the mountains, and then they have like a three dimensional grass with flowers. That just seems a little, I don't know, a little off. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I, I think the flowers have to relate to the tulips that we're bailing in. <laughs> I think, I think, I, you know, I'm just going to predict that all four of these packs relate to tulips. Um, and... I don't know. Four is... I have questions. We'll get there. <laughs> I, well, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm sure I can find a connection here. But uh, yeah, I think I think pack two's got to be uh, tulips that apparently grow in the mountains, and you're gonna get machines to bail them uh, in the mountains. In the mountains. Yeah. You know, I really like that you are continuing on with the tulip theory because when I look at mountains and I think of tulips, I think of Heidi. You know, I'm sure they had some kind of machinery in that movie. And the whole of, concept of what? I don't what? know. Isn't it like? No, what, is, what is, is that like? What did you say? Heidi. Heidi. Isn't is it that about a movie? the Shirley I, Temple movie about like I don't know, like a little I mean, girl in the mountains? Find out. Oh gosh. Heidi. Hope the they movie. didn't just make this up. Otherwise, I'm gonna copyright that and make. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, in yeah. the mountains. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's in somewhere with tulips. I don't know. There, I can't think of where it is. There looks like there's tulips. Hold up. Where's the location? Where are they supposed to be? So I'm gonna put this up on the screen so I can see real quick. So this is this is the reference we have here, Heidi in the yes. movie. It's a Disney movie, even okay. Hey. Right, Disney Plus. If you guys want to watch it, if you guys, <laughs> someone out there wants to watch it and get back to me on a full synopsis, that'd be great. I'm probably not gonna watch it. Um, where is it? Where is it? Directed by uh, Swift, yeah. the young girl who's oh. the out. <laughs> oh, you know what's actually too, and this will help engage you a little bit more. Uh -huh. So the company, their I'm biggest office is in Germany, but their head office, where the CEO works out of, is in Switzerland. Would you look at that? We're right. Yep. Yep. And you know, yeah, there's tulips in those pictures, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty so, uh, positive. Are those I tulips mean, though? They look and, like oh, oh, oh. They're trying to throw but, us off, okay? You know. They don't want it to be too obvious. I mean, it's pretty clear in pack one that it's a tulip being bailed, but oh, gosh. Wow. pack two, I mean. What if this whole pack's just about Heidi? I mean, we <laughs> cracked it out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a, like a crossover. Yeah. It. It's, it's a it's a farming simulator <laughs> Heidi crossover. Oh, I cannot a movie wait. From when? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's different. Age yeah, let's years, do their, whatever. Okay, maybe, maybe the 2015 is probably the remake. When was yeah. the original one? Uh, the one that I was thinking of is definitely. I want to say 1974. <laughs> yep. Okay. Two TV miniseries. Oh, all right. And Heidi, yeah. So 1974 is probably the original one. Yeah. Look at that. Educated. Um, wow. Okay. So you guys think this is a? You think that giant software? To try to keep people engaged into their 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 game mm -hmm. has gone to a 1974 Disney movie for inspiration. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, <laughs> they're probably looking at who they're marketing to. <laughs> I have a bit of coffee on that. One. Oh wow! I'm just saying, you know, like I grew up with it, and to be fair, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, I thought you were about to say that people there. played Farming Simulator. 
were were, old. were, were around to watch that yeah, in 1974. Like, so born in the 60s. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. They're probably trying to... I mean, to there are. I'm not trying to make fun of the question. Of the photo, they're this. probably trying to farm, you know, way back, back in my day kind of thing, you know? <laughs> so... Yeah. 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 I mean, if I was, I don't know, born in that generation, I'd look at this and be like, Heidi, hey, let me download this now. A little throwback. Wow. I, I like your theory. And actually, what I will note this as well. This is, um, this might, unfortunately, this helps your theory, uh, which is unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate? It, yes, it absolutely that was pretty is. pretty fortunate I to me. Because I'm going to be honest, I will be giant software if you ever watch this podcast. Um, so I know you guys pay a little bit of attention to me since I'm one of your partners. But um, if you ever do watch this podcast, um, uh, I am hoping it's not a Heidi expansion. <laughs> oh my game. gosh, could you please do uh, that? Come I would on. pay such good money to watch. <laughs> to watch that <laughs> to watch you play that you, oh, that'd be you so need good. us uh, uh, specify that our opinions are our own and uh, our opinions do not reflect the opinions of farmer cup uh no i don't need to specify <laughs> that. they can reflect me i don't care what you guys think about me oh my gosh uh yeah oh, good because i didn't care walking in here so <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's the attitude i want on my oh, podcast oh, oh. um no 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 so i was gonna say to support your point is one of the most requested things is uh, like vintage tractors or older tractors. Oh, because there's not there a lot go. in the game. Because obviously, they when you have like brands you put in your game, they want you to show their newest equipment off and stuff like that. Right. And a lot of people want to farm in the newer, cooler stuff. But there's like older tractors are a huge. There's a huge community of modders that make older tractors that you can use in the game. Oh. Because yeah. it's really requested. So yeah, a lot of older equipment and stuff. I think it'd be cool. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm also gonna just as we go through real quick, give you what I think as a farming simulator, obviously expert. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm just gonna. I mean, at least at least in this room. In this room, for sure. For sure. <laughs> There's not much competition, but it, for sure in this room. Yeah. yeah. So I think the That's first fair. one is going to be more related to different baling, like corn baling, like chaff, corn chaff, and other stuff baling. I think it's going to be a baling expansion. And I think it's also going to apply to feeding animals to make that more complex mm -hmm. if people want it to be. And then pack two, I think, is I hear it. No, here's a stretch. I This one I actually don't think is what it's going to be, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping this is what it is. And I think it might be. I don't think it is, actually. I'm like, it's maybe 3% this. Could be. Um, 3%. Pretty low. Pretty low. It's more than one and two. Barely. Less than four. But. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did not know that. Yeah. Is that, does that math check out, PZ? I'll have to get back to you. Okay. <laughs> well, let me know. Let me know. Um, <laughs> anyhow, I'm hoping it is mining. Oh. I was going to wonder. Mining. Because, and I, I also think, and you guys don't know this, in the Platinum DLC they just released in, I guess just in November, but when they released it, uh, they had a metal mine on the map that you couldn't mine at, oh. but you could go there to pick metal up for your production chains and because okay. there's production chains in the game. Okay. So, so that's what I'm hoping. So how do, how do the flowers that may or may not be tulips relate to <laughs> your mining theory? Um, not at all. Oh, okay. Actually, I, don't, I can't. I'm trying to think of my head even a way to cleverly. It would have to be like just the weirdest DLC. It's like we put mining equipment and you can harvest tulips now. <laughs> like it'd be like and this, well, which would be strange. Yeah. I'm wondering, which I'm sure is not at all. But from what I've seen from Farmer Cop, it seems like it's somewhat open world to kind of venture and do your own yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So theory. Let's just say they are going the Heidi route. All right. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Back to Heidi. Because we're going back to Heidi because there was something that you said about the old tractors. And I feel like if you're able to drive an old tractor, isn't that more like open world kind of like adventure? But like you get to like, what was that game? Was it um the Oregon Trail where you could like. Oh, I remember that game. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. Like you could kind of like do your own thing. Like, would it be more like that? So then if. Heidi was, you know, happening. Then pack two obviously would be maybe mining, but more like let's collect some tulips. Let's go sell them on the road. Oh, I'm glad maybe. You back tulips. And, it. and I'm gonna be Hold honest it. with you, straight up. Your high like as as low my my mountain mining theory is probably less likely to happen than your Heidi theory. Like that's how <laughs> less likely it is to happen. Like I think Heidi might be four percent. Wow. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna give it five percent just because okay. yeah. number. Yeah, you can get whatever percent you want. I yeah. will. You can say it's 100%. Why would I do want? that? Do I, I don't know. Do I look like I have that much confidence? <laughs> I'm a farmer. Oh. To be clear, I'm in ripped jeans. <laughs> Clearly not a farmer. Like a farmer. Like, like a farmer. Like you yeah. got ripped from all the work you did. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure that's not where these came from. <laughs> pretty sure bottom. <laughs> oh, great. There's, oh, isn't there a comedian that does a bit about that? Ripped jeans. Almost certainly. Almost certainly. I don't know who, but yeah. I think there's a camera who it is, but I think it's something like he was like, yeah, I love those people that buy jeans and then they decide they uh, 
they buy they buy them pre ripped. It's like, well, it's like, oh, if you just want them ripped, you know, you just uh, buy them and then might as well drag them behind a car at like 50 miles an hour until they rip up. <laughs> so I have nice stuff like that. But anyway, Ugh. I was talking about your games. That's how we go. Uh, okay. Thanks. I take no offense. So that's good. And so it's, it's actually a surprising amount of this, this podcast is actually related to Farming Simulator, which is far shocking to me. Yeah. Uh, pack yeah. three. This one will literally go anywhere. It's, yeah. just, a, it's just a box with yeah. little sparkles coming yeah. out. I'm going to say dynamite. This is a bonus pack. Dynamite. dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very dynamite. That would apply I mean, to my mining yeah, theory. Yeah. Talking true. about mining. But like, look, there's like glitter and it's like sparkly and like an anime. It's like something that's like all like, oh, glittery and pretty. But no, I'm going dynamite. Mm-hmm. Dynamite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going more of the, the glittery and pretty route with um, new colors of tulip. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I like this. Yeah, gotta, gotta be. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, you can build other colors and tools. I mean, just think from from Giants' perspective. I mean, how are they gonna make a a, a new like a an icon teaser for new colors of tools? So they just made it a, a box with sparkles. <gasps> what if it's different flowers? Uh, it's gotta be tulips, right? I mean, I don't know. They're gonna go I with Heidi Rob, but what if it's a bonus pack of like random flowers? But, that if, somehow but if pack work? one were bailing tulips. Yeah, tulips. What would pack three be? Bonus pack of flowers. <laughs> I don't know more, if I buy it. More equipment. I don't know if I buy it. Oh, yeah, there could be. A different brand of tulip bailing But you equipment. see, yeah. you can't fit, like, large machinery in that box. But well, based I don't... on the perspective, we don't know how big it is. But, like, if I bought a tractor, I highly doubt it's going to come in a box unless it's from Ikea. <laughs> Ikea tractor? They'd probably sell those. I mean, I have to build it myself. which is like <laughs> One of my coworkers, no joke, ordered a tractor. From like overseas somewhere, and it came in a box, and he had to assemble it. It was oh, a tractor. Oh my gosh! Wh- why like a carnival or like if a you met him, ride. you would, it would make sense. Okay. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, <laughs> he's, one of, he's one of our reserve officers. It's kind of okay. funny. Okay. He's a funny guy. He's retired. Does, does he he's like a, farm? No, not at all. Oh, so he just wanted a tractor. He wanted a tractor. Okay. I think he he's a retired Fed, so he has a really good pension. Oh. And he works it. for us for free, so I think he just has too much money Got on it. his hands. So he and but he. Is frugal about like the weirdest things. He's a really <laughs> funny guy. Well, he'll buy a together. tractor in a box. Well, he won't buy like a tractor in a dealership like he has oh, money. Sure. He'll buy a cheap tractor online. <laughs> yeah. Buying a tractor online. Can you buy like a tractor on eBay? Is that a thing? Probably. Have it shipped to you? Probably. Probably. Actually, eBay Motors is super popular. That's but I don't true. think you can ship them. I mean, probably. It's expensive. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't Car like, shipping is pricey. Yeah, I'm sure you'd have to like arrange with the seller. Yeah. So can I get it express overnight? No, it's not an existing <laughs> option for this. <laughs> that is me driving it to you. Yeah. Um, oh, and he also, this is another side note about him. So, you know, he ordered this little car on, on there. That's So here's how I describe it. And he put it together and drives it to work. It is so small that he can barely fit in it. And it doesn't have an enclosed cab, but it does drive. He says he can go 35 miles an hour in it, but I've never seen it. So I don't know if that's true or not. Interesting. But he drives it to work and... It, this is how I describe it. You know those like little Tonka trucks that kids drive that are electric? <laughs> yeah. It yeah. looks like that. It's like a bigger version of that. That's what it looks like. Okay. That's it looks like a buy. kid's toy. Got it. I'm pretty confident I could go up and pick it up. <laughs> it is so small and so ridiculous. How, how big is this guy? He's like a normal sized person. Okay. Like he's a normal human. He's not extra large or extra small. Sorry, he's, he's normal size. Pretty, pretty average. Yeah. Average size. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But anyhow, it's hilarious. Got it. So. How do we get here? I don't, I don't know. know. I've actually. been watching you guys kind of go. Oh, we talked about stuff coming out of a box, and you talked about a tractor not coming oh, yeah. out of a box. That's uh, how we got there. Right. Yeah, there, we should make a. With every podcast I release, there should be like Venn diagrams that show you our route, how we got where we got. Low flow chart. A, a, I don't think that's a Venn diagram. Yeah, right. Sorry. Flow chart. Flow chart. Not a Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Venn diagram. It's pretty different. It's just in circles within circles within circles. <laughs> Uh, not about that. I mean, you can make it work. So recently, oh. recently, this this cracks me up. Sorry, this is about flow charts. It's so unrelated. <laughs> so like, I'm just off the. We're just off the I rails. Mean, just... Department admin was like, people get so upset about our disciplinary system and how people keep officers get in trouble for stupid stuff. So they decided to ease the burden is make a flow chart to explain how the disciplinary service works. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my god. I was like, this is gonna make people happy and my favorite part is because they're always after me is they brought me into the office to say how does this make you feel they want to talk to me about it like well this i'm like i'm like that explains it a little bit better but it's not gonna make anyone feel better mm-hmm. they're like they're like you think it'll like you know like people hate the word like in any police agency they call like internal investigations ias which doesn't even make sense because i doesn't stand for internal investigation <laughs> but it's because it's an internal affairs investigation so we just oh. call them ias if you get in trouble it's called my a so like we just say oh are you getting an ia at work like we that's all we say about it, talk about it. and people hate them so bad they're like we're trying to like like they're literally trying to rebrand it they're like we should be calling like ii's 
or something like that. I'm like, that's not going to help people like them more. Like, it was so funny. It was like such a weird admin attempt to, it just cracked me up. That was so funny. Anyway, okay, continue on. So bonus pack. So you think, you, <laughs> sorry. You, <laughs> I, I, I can't think of what it is. Oh my gosh, it's a classic. It was, oh, I have to look it up. I can't think of what it is. And you know you know for Avery to look up this song. Avery to look at that song. Okay. Y'all keep going. So why, why are you looking at that? You heard more colors of tulips. Well, gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. So here's my theory on it. Okay. I'm hoping it's a vintage tractor pack. Okay. That's my hope. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Probably also probably like I'd say like maybe that was a try higher chance. I'd say seven percent chance. Yeah. Of it being that. Um number four. <laughs> but five. What oh, number four makes literally it Ozzy Osbourne, crazy train. I had to sing it in my head, but he oh, yeah. out, like I I Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> did not the only way that you can make that good is if you guys get I eyes, you have to play that song. So just like cushions it. Yeah. Yeah, then we'd yeah. all be going off the rails on a crazy train. Yeah, That's would. what would happen at work. See, then you would all have it on a body cam, and then we could watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? I'm well, sorry. No, I'm back back. They found it on Pack 4. So. Oh, I don't like Pack 4. There's, oh, so much. There's so much. I yeah. just, no. Avery has opted out of Pack 4. Yeah. Uh, but I have to hear your opinions on here. It says equipment to improve your productivity, and it looks like... I'm not even going to say what it looks like because no. I'm going to, I don't think I'll give anything away, but I want to know your impressions of this. Yeah. Um, it's easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if you want to edit out. You said my name like a minute ago. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, probably. <gasps> uh, um, you know, I'm just going to have to watch this whole one. Okay. So That's I'm... the only way we're going to do it. Is this one I fly said everyone's saying uh, six times? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you can just, or you can just make your moderator. Yeah. yeah go and find it. where it is. Uh, Jason, did you hear that? You're going to have to watch this and edit all this out. Yeah. Jason, thank you. I love you, by the way. Yeah, thanks, thank Jason. you for all the work you thanks, do. Jason. I don't know you, uh, but thanks. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Jason okay. is a fabulous moderator, by the way. Great. Side note. Continue. Okay. okay. So, um, equipment to improve product productivity. Continuing with my tulip theory. I think it's got to be uh, a, a fertilizer spreader. That's exactly what I was thinking. Specifically for tulips. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I mean, not to be kind of gross, but, I mean, there's, like, the heat, like, coming off. You know, yep. it's like it's, you know, like... Manure. Manure. Well, you there's know? manure in the game. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So, it's, you know, I feel like it fits. You know, so, okay. you know, uh, it's a pack of fertilizer spreaders for tulips. It's to exactly. improve productivity. Mm -hmm. So, you, you describe that as a fertilizer spreader. Well, photo. not necessarily the photo. What would you describe the photo as? I mean, I mean, you describe the heat lines and a potential pile of manure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the tool? I mean, it looks kind of like a. I mean, it either looks like a shovel, mm -hmm. or it looks like a weird like radio beacon. Oh, a radio beacon! I have not heard that one yet. I've heard some weird things that thing. Yeah. Huh. Or it's like a. Gosh, it looks like so many things. It oh. could be like the top of a guard tower. Really, I think of one thing. I, I don't. I don't. So impressed right now. I don't think it's. I don't think it's the top of a guard tower, but that's you know. a, that's a good bet. But yeah. Oh, it's gonna add war to farming simulator. That would be an <laughs> interesting game. Wow. Could you that's imagine? Can, I, can we play farming simulator but with guns? Does that have <laughs> <laughs> guns mod that I can? Uh, no, there's not. There is. You'll like this actually. You'll appreciate this. Someone modded uh, made like a lightsaber you could hold in the game, no, and man. it cuts trees down. <gasps> That's amazing. Yeah, and it makes like. Okay, if they can have like Star Wars, and they surely can have Heidi. Our. <laughs> is not far fetched. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if, if, I mean, so if, if Pack 2 isn't a Heidi crossover, can we at least get a Heidi mod? I mean, um, really. We have everything. You know, someone, someone out there listening to this is a uh, Barbie Simulator modder, and they can just get to work on a, a Heidi mod. A Heidi yeah. mod. Yeah. I've uh, never seen this movie before, but, you know. Will I ever play it? No. No, I yeah. won't. Will I watch it? Probably not. Not unless we sit down and have another one of these. <laughs> well, that would have to. Like, it'll be oh, episode 100%. 15 will bring you back on. Are yeah. you kidding you me? If Heidi. they do a Heidi mod, I will sit and play it, and then we can just record what happens if I've never played Barbie That would be pretty funny, it. actually. Yeah. Uh, so, Avery, what do you... Th what You said there's one thing. Yeah, there's one thing. Okay, that's what I think it is. But at the same time, the I mean, it looks like top, a... it just reminds me of a helmet, and I don't know why, so it's like yeah, I mean, workers. You can use a, a, a shovel to spread manure. Right, and I thought that was where you were going to go, but you never called it a shovel. Well, well I, I think it's just it's just a, it's a, it's symbolism for the fertilizer spreader. Ah. Um, but, uh, you know, because you could spread fertilizer with a shovel. You could, but it's exactly. equipment. Yeah. Which, I mean, a shovel, shovel's equipment, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not really what I think of when I think of equipment. Okay. 
So, what do you think of when you think of equipment? I think of fertilizer spreaders for tulips. Mm. Um, <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> so if I go to you in six weeks and I say equipment, with us, what does that make you think of? You're going to tell me fertilizer honestly, spreaders for tulips. I mean, if I remember anything about this night, which <laughs> honestly, honestly, not with the, with the amount of Same. sugar and caffeine you've had, that oh, could be possible. Oh my god, it's possible. The amount of sugar right yeah. now in our systems. Yeah. Avery, you need to get to work on that Mountain Dew. I can't. You can't. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted to see if you could drink it. <laughs> Did you want the rest? I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Dude. Wow. No. Yeah, they split them. I'm hydrating, so I don't hydrate. Thank I'll you. I'll drink this then. I'm not scared of a half a thing of Do Mountain Dew. It's not, it's not the point that it's going un... 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 <laughs> 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 Uh, what is the proper un un drunk to drunk and words un- are drunk. just like meaningless right now? Yeah, for the record, none of us are drunk. That is, I, I, I forgot to mention that. So, <laughs> a lot of people do drink. Obviously, it's New Year's Eve, ball, New Year's mm-hmm. Day now, but obviously, a lot of people do do drink on this day. None of us, but there's no alcohol in my house. I don't keep alcohol in my house, period. Mm-hmm. But there's there's no alcohol in my house, and when I have people over, we don't have alcohol either. So, none of yeah. us have any alcohol. No, we do yeah. sound maybe a little bit, especially <laughs> after. Fair. To be fair, I After think your... I had uh, three, three Mountain Dews. Yeah, no, it was going to be three and a half. Come on. You know, I'm hungry. You agreed. I know, but I have to pee. <laughs> Stop drinking the water and start drinking the Mountain Dews. You have to choose hydration or sugar. And it's 2.49 right now in the morning. Yep. I pretty much have already come to the conclusion that I probably will not sleep tonight, and that's fair. Nice way to go, Avery. Thank you, but I'm you know about what? It. Sleep deprivation and Mountain Dew and I don't completely clash, and I will get giggly enough to where so they won't be well. able to hear you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first six-hour podcast. I mean, <laughs> easy one left. Uh, um, okay, like so. I would have beaten you. I will, that you would have left. I, I keep going. I mean, I, I, for six hours, six hours is a little excessive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will be bored before then. You're going to get bored talking to us? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. How oh, dare you? Why? I am it's entertaining, sir. Maybe we should just get up and leave. I mean, wow, no. Podcast. Well. <laughs> you the door is right there. Yeah, hey, okay. So that's Farmer Copy. Everyone left. Uh... <laughs> For reasons unbeknownst to me. Yeah, I, no idea I told them they were boring and they just left. Yeah. I'm weird. Yeah. Uh, no. God. It's so... almost like we were insulted. <laughs> I mean, Farmer Cop finds this incredibly boring. You know what? Which, you know, could be fair. I mean, it's 2.50, and we probably think we're hilarious. I think I'm hilarious. We'll probably um, think, man, what yeah, this is, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I will listen. Well, I might listen to this. You 100%. To You're not going to remember. To this. That's true. You're going to be like, that's I how we know. got to this. I wasn't sure if I was going to remember. Yeah, that's how yeah. We, we talked about it. Made sure everyone knew we had not consumed any alcohol. Yeah, even though it sounds like I have, because I un, is undrunken really a word? You know, I don't know, I don't but I have so. been wanting to fact check it. Is he going to drink this? Oh, fact check I mean, it. I mean, Matthias. I'm not drinking easy it. Easy will. I'll <laughs> drink it. I'll drink it. You can drink it. Okay, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> it has been probably... How many years has it been since I had Mountain Dew? It's been a lot of years. Wow. How dare you? Shut up, phone. Uncultured. Cool. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's sending me an email? Is it probably a spam? I hope it's someone. It's my. Me. It's this the uh, disposal service for my trash. This is when they decided to process my payment. Oh, great. Nice. 50 in the morning, and then you're like, we got jets in the air. You know what? Who are we to judge? We are up at 251 doing a podcast. Who true, would be right? up right now? Us. We are up. That's true. That's true. But, uh, okay, so yeah, pack four. <laughs> oh, yeah, pack four. Did you... uh, we established that it's fertilizer for tulips, obviously, okay. based off of pack one, two, and three. Here's my bet on it. It looks like a little shovel. It says equipment improved for activity. There are no hand tools in Farming Simulator. Oh. I think it's a hand tools pack. Uh-huh. See, we didn't have this knowledge going into this, so... And... I no. believe one of the other YouTubers we have friends with, DJ Goham, mm-hmm. it's a huge channel. Go like and subscribe, by the way, if you guys haven't checked him out. Um, does farm some news, which is fantastic. But he, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's him. And DJ, if it wasn't you, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's him that said it looked kind of like an anchor. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I can see it. You know, I can see it. But yeah. I'm also thinking it's a farming. Well, I feel like so maybe it's a fishing expansion. I think that's kind of in, in line with my radio beacon. 
you know. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a stretch, but yeah. <laughs> Everything that's a stretch. <laughs> no, the two ups are also a pretty far stretch. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my mind. <laughs> my mind? Yeah. Oh my. I mean, you're at three percent, whereas the two ups are at five percent. Let's that's really true. call a stretch that's whatever true. it is. Mining. Okay, mining's a stretch. You're right. <laughs> I want to know why they made the the corn symbol so similar to a tulip. <laughs> I mean, honestly. You should, what you should do about that is write a strongly worded letter to the company. You know, I will. Honestly, will I send it? No. I, I just like, I've played your game for all of about 30 minutes. But Impressive. the fact that, you know, the corn symbol looks like tulips is very misleading. And you can, if you write them a letter, I will read it on the podcast. Oh. <laughs> I, know you, I don't know if it'll be a clean letter. Yeah. It'll be a clean letter. Okay, so I'll read it word for word. Okay. How word can you it. somehow put the word what was it undrunken in it? Undrunken. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Work that in there. Yeah. Somehow. I I will if you write that I will hang it up on my wall right here. That letter. I will frame it, put it right here on my wall, right above my computer, so I can look at it. Do I have a, a, a minimum word count here? I'm back in school. Okay. It's got a. It's no more word count. It's got to fit on a piece of paper. I can't have like a six page letter. What kind of paper? Can you imagine? I, I can't. I can't imagine. If I wrote a six page. Yeah, there's six frames there. across my wall, so I can be like, people are like, what is this? Is this like a really sentimental oh, letter? I'm like, it it's really like, is to me. Have you guys heard about the like the AI that will like write for you? I have seen advertisements for it. It's yeah, like, we'll make your content. I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna spit this into the AI and see what it comes out with. Oh, That's terrifying. That'd be so funny. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make you frame it on the wall. Make sure you include Heidi. I'm really curious <laughs> about that. Heidi. It probably won't even be able to go back that far to understand what it is. We should. Uh, you know how uh, it's uh, what's his name on YouTube that does the Google Translate recipes? Oh, I don't know if I've seen this. Oh, so what? He's a really big, huge. It's like Brandon something. I can't remember his name, but it does Google Translate recipe. It does take a normal recipe, put it in the Google Translate, switch it through different languages a ton of times, oh, no. and then he'll make it. It's so Ew. it's so funny. I'm sure it oh my! Well. we'll put one of his short ones on after we're done with this. So you okay. guys, it'll be short, but you guys have to say it's so funny. So I could do that with like your letter. Okay. Or send it. <laughs> yeah, just, really funny. Yeah, just send it through Google Translate a whole bunch and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be I great. wouldn't even want to look at the grammar of that. Oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> For anyone listening, I am oh, such a huge English nerd. Crazy. Hey, you do read a lot. I do. I really do. I'd be reading right now if I wasn't sitting here at 2.55 a.m. making a podcast. I'd be wow. reading right now. But you'd rather be here. Wow. Wow, Avery. I'm going to leave and you're going to think I'm going to podcast. It's fine by me. I'm talking about books. <laughs> Continue a book uh, podcast. Be good. Oh my gosh, it would never end. Yeah, I'd shout you out. You'd be good. Books are too good. Yeah, just for uh, that's a good thing. thing. You don't want your you don't want your podcast to be outside and be like, oh, I can only do six episodes and then I'll be out yeah. of content. Well, you know, I think it's good and I could talk about books all day, but not everyone wants to listen to that. Yeah. I, <laughs> there are whole YouTube channels yeah. that do book reviews. Yeah. Have you seen the guy that does like the the gangster version of them or whatever? No, <laughs> it's uh, like uh, he like talks about movies and it's really funny. I gotta put it up. It's like just. Yeah, or, or books and stuff like that. He did one of Lord of the Rings. It's like, he's like, yeah, Frodo and all his homies. And like, like the way he talks about it. Yes. Oh, it's so funny. And it's mostly clean, so it's pretty good. But his is really funny. I like his stuff. But Got it. Um, yeah, anyhow, YouTube's a great world. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Pack Four's done. Oh, Let's just right. finish up. Okay. Uh, the reason we're here. Um, <laughs> big, big, we've literally talked about this for 35 minutes, which is impressive. Um, That's it. <laughs> We've been here for 40 minutes. It's great. First five minutes was about nonsense, and then yep. we had this. Yep. It's gonna you be. You just told me you're not gonna sleep tonight anyway. Where do you have to be, Avery? To pee so bad. <laughs> what? We can take an intermission. I would yeah. love that. All right, intermission. Jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> I should keep that in the video. Yeah, yeah. We just got back to intermission, <laughs> and Avery right in the story goes, I'm all jacked up Mountain Dew. I'm ready to go. Know. You know what? Mountain Dew stays a faster. long time in my system. And I've had, what, three? I lost count. Three, I think. And that's like, I, I at one point, and I told you, I had a full 12 pack all by myself when I was younger, and that's a lot. That is, that, I mean, yes, that is a lot. That is that's a lot, that's a lot for anyone yes. of any tolerance. And yeah. I'm a tiny person. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? Can you want to tell us? <laughs> I am five foot. And that is it. <laughs> five foot? That's it? Really? Yes. Uh, I would have thought you were at least like five one or two, maybe. Thank you, but no, no, I'm yeah. not. Actually, sometimes, sometimes when I go to the doctors and they have to measure you, they'll like push you up against the wall and kind of like, so you're at like an angle and they'll be like, four eleven and three fours. So I'm like, no, measure again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you were taller. No. I'm not at least 
leave unless they say that I'm five foot. I'm like, absolutely not. No, unless it's five foot or above, I'm not moving. I don't care what time it it's is. It's funny, so when I was in high school, like I, I hit like five eleven, like when I was like fifteen, wow. and like that's where I stopped. Like I'm not even yeah. any taller. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm almost. I don't want to say my age, but I'm not going to get any taller probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was like, I was. I come from a family of tall people. You do. Yeah. You're like one of the shortest, and you're not short. I, I am the shortest guy in my family. I'm the shortest of five guys in my family. I don't understand it. Um, when you're six or foot, are you six one? I'm like six foot one, and but going into high school, freshman year, I was probably five foot two. Oh wow. Five foot three. You were taller than Maybe. Avery yeah. will ever yeah. be. Yes. Yeah. And oh, whoa! <laughs> if I wear heels, I'm taller. <laughs> That's the closest I can get. And sometimes that height scares me. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I wasn't made for that. Oh. <laughs> I've gotten used to it down here. Yeah. But then I grew like nine inches my like junior year of high school. Good lord. You and know, like a growth spurt? Yeah. He like every time. You look like you're judging me. I've never been clothing. through one. <laughs> you look like a judgment, but I've never been through one. I grew up painful. But you know what? Some of us have an experience it, okay? Right. I grew up before junior high and Jesus was like, no more. Nope. <laughs> It? it was just, it was just the way you said it was like, like a growth spurt. I was like, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I, don't, I don't know what else it would have been. <laughs> yeah. I was growing at a but, normal long pace. But yeah, I, I, grew, I grew so fast that I, I had like, my skin had stretch marks. Wow. From growing so fast. That wow. I still have. Wow. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Isn't that normal? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. You have some? <laughs> I have stretch marks because I was fat when I was a kid. Oh, well, that's different than growing yeah. quick. Yeah. Depends. It depends. <laughs> yeah, for me, at least. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I would have never, I could have never pictured you fat. Yeah. Could have oh. never pictured Oh, it. story time. Um, <laughs> let's see. I dyed my Buffalo hair. Pepper. Yeah, this is fun. I went through a lot of phases. And we all did. I used know. to wear cargo pants. Like an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's your pants. phase? No, no. I went through like every phase under the sun. I was like wanting to be seen emo for the longest time. We listened to heavy metal all the time. I was literally like the most angsty teen of that generation and I felt it internally so much. But before then, oh, oh, it was bad. I got acne. And then I was super Can pale relate. because I would always stay inside. Can relate. <laughs> oh, it gets better. I was overweight. Can I relate. chopped my hair off and dyed it like Can this relate. really dark red purple color. Ooh, ooh. I'm super pale, so it just washed me out. <laughs> braces that were different colors. Uh, oh, and then I Can had... <laughs> And then I, I, so. I had purple glasses that did not fit my face. So, you know what? If you want to talk about, like, ugly duckling face, oh, I am my. literally the encyclopedia of it. I need to see pictures of some of these faces. Oh, gosh. You know what? I think I might have maybe one. When I was in fifth grade, yeah. we had a spirit day, and the spirit color was red. <laughs> so, it gets oh, really oh, far yeah. worse. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. The subscribers so have not. Excited. Yeah, it's a great story. It's a great Have you heard the story? No. Okay, oh, you love this. So I love that you knew it and you're like, yep, yeah, this is great. It was a great um, So <laughs> I have an older sister. She's seven years older than me. So when I was in fifth grade, she was still seven years older than me because that's how age works. Wow. Um, in case you're wondering. Um, but, really? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we went to Walmart. And I tell you what, what's really shocking about this story is how little the Walmart associate knew about the products she was selling. Super crazy. I mean, are you surprised? No, I'm not. But so my my sister's like, we're looking for like a temporary hair dye, red. And she's like, oh, this is this is a good one. It was not a temporary hair dye that was selected. What's so that? my hair was bright red, like Ferrari red, Ferrari red. And it was, and I have, I'm blonde, as you guys know, if you've seen my life, so I'm blonde. My hair actually right now is darker than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, but it used to be like like, and that when I was that age, it used to be like almost white. That's how like blonde I was. So it was like. Mm. Like you could see it, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, which was great for Spirit Day. And I was like, oh, it's Spirit Day, bro. It's great, no big deal. Spirit Day, but what wasn't fun was it being there forever. Not forever, but it felt like forever. And then my stepdad took me to get a haircut. And I said, the barber didn't speak a lot of English, okay? He didn't understand what was going on. And he saw my hair was red. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he probably is like, well, this is a problem. We're going to fix it. <laughs> to be fair to the barber, he's absolutely right. Oh, so God. my stepdad goes, and my mom, by the way, never let him take me to get a haircut again after this. Oh, no. So 
he tries to tell the barber, and I bet I remember it because it was traumatic. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't <laughs> I mean, it was a little bit at the time, but it's funny now. Um, he told the barber, he's like, yeah, just cut, cut like a little bit off the top or whatever. Oh, no. And the barber, and before he can do anything, right down the middle of my head, starts shaving my head. Right down the middle. And then all I remember is because I was a little kid with glasses, and I couldn't see anything. They took my glasses off, and I remember seeing a blurry image of my stepdad just laughing his butt off in the seat watching. I was like, what is so funny about my haircut? And then I realized I didn't have any hair. And then that didn't fix the red hair. My scalp was faded yeah. with pink. It was pink. My whole scalp was oh, pink. So I went to school bald and pink headed <laughs> for the next several weeks. It was so bad. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you, fifth grade. <laughs> so, a few notes. Um, one, sounds like the barber knew what he needed to do. <laughs> Yeah. And he took the necessary yeah. steps. He had one job and he completed it. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. He did. He was not going to wait for anyone to say anything. And oh, you, you had the most spirit, uh, whether intentional or not. You know, it, it definitely happens. unintentional. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Uh, if it was a splat box, you knew what you were doing. It was. It was in fifth grade. <laughs> It was fifth grade, and it was my sister's idea. I bet your oh. sister knew what she was doing. <laughs> to give you know, I haven't even thought about that. I need to call, I'm going to call her right now. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, by the way, since you're on the podcast, yeah. Happy New Year. At, at three in the morning. Yeah, at three in the morning. If she did plan so. it, I would like to shake her hand one day. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I mean, that's my sister and I pranked each other a lot, so it's definitely possible. One time, I don't know if I told you guys this, we were in Payless Shoes. I remember it vividly. I was younger, probably than fifth grade, or maybe around that age. And me and my sister sorry. were super angry at each other. Yeah, I mean, day. And so we're shopping for shoes, and I'm separate from my family. Mm-hmm. And I was so pissed off at my sister that I'd see her, and so I sprint down this whole aisle at Payless and just tackle her. <laughs> tackle her. Face smack down. And then when I see when I tackle her, and I realize it wasn't my sister, and it was this other girl that looked similar to my sister from behind, and she looked at me so terrified because she's got tackled in the store and i oh, oh my gosh i felt i felt immediately i was like oh no and my mom saw it of course and she she just the full name came out and i i knew it i was like i'm dead yeah my mom's gonna kill me so anyhow there was that that was great wow um, i wonder if she's listening to this podcast and is like so you're the guy that traumatized me <laughs> can you imagine she could, that would be so funny if you're listening if you're to this you're 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 listen to this contact me to, pay, to, to say I'm sorry, I will send you a hundred dollar gift card if you can prove it to you somehow. That's I don't know how you, don't know how you that. prove that. But... You, know, you have a video of it. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't say the location that the payless was. That's pretty right. So yeah, if you know that. Oh, that's true. If you know where the payless was. If you were tackled by a young boy one time in a payless. <laughs> all of a sudden, there's like a bunch of people come forward. I was tackled by a boy once in a payless. Like, what happened at payless? <laughs> but uh. <laughs> you know, well, they go in and you, you see the money, and you're like, but no, I want to pay less. <laughs> What? Oh gosh! Oh. oh, my final story. I'm sorry, I'm just going off the rails and telling the stories. Um, my sister and I obviously were always fighting. So one time we were fighting, um, and so my mom, my mom called. I was trying to call her friend, and his number started with nine one. Oh, so, yeah. and our phone, oh, the one stuck. So she actually called nine one one. Was not a big deal. Happens all the time. Mm-hmm. So she, she talks to her, she's like, hey, yeah, I, I try to call this other number, it's an accident. She's like, no worries, we just have to send an officer by to make sure everything's okay. She smiles, like, no big deal. Gets there, and the first thing, the officer, the officer comes to the house, and I was like, yeah, come on in, because we don't need to hide. And me and my sister are upstairs, we're upstairs, we'll start there with that. So we're upstairs, and my mom's downstairs, and I don't know where my stepdad was at at this point, but he, my parents are like avid hunters, so my stepdad's working on a rifle that's taken apart on the table, <laughs> sitting on a gun rack, <laughs> aimed out the window at our neighbor's house. <laughs> And it wasn't going to fire. Like, it was obviously, even to the cop, it was so obviously, even if she didn't know anything about rifles, so obviously taken apart that it wasn't going to fire. But it was just kind of a funny extra thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then the cop's like, oh, I just don't, who else is home? My mom's like, oh, my two kids are upstairs. So the officer's like, oh, well, can I just make sure they're okay? Yeah, sure thing. So my mom's like, hey, uh, blank and blank, our names, come on downstairs. And then I screw. I my sister's name, not blank, but I scream that. And then let me tell you, my mom goes, Blank, Blank, you get down here right now. There's a police officer here. And let me tell you, we sprinted down those stairs. And we stood at like a tension at the bottom of the stairs. Like, and the officer just sitting there like, like just like, you know. Like, and, then, and now as a police officer, like looking back, I'm like, yeah, I mean, it looked bad, but it's like you could tell it wasn't anything. But still, it's kind of funny. So that was another great story. That's amazing. You know, good childhood. Yeah. Especially for your line of work now. Yeah. I hope one day that happens to you. 
It'll just be. I also too. I'm like, I'm, this happened to me when I was a kid. Don't worry, ma'am. Don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> kids oh. say the darnest things. Oh wow. Uh, Power Cup, can we talk about your obsession with sticky notes? Because I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> those this is like hand 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 about it a little bit. A little out of hand. There are so many like new sticky yeah, notes. Yeah, it's not have one. It's like you have so many different pads. So I, all random. I don't like to pull them off the pad and set them down unless it's gonna be there for a long time. Like some of the sticky notes are long term, but I like to have. I write to write of the pad, and when I'm done with that, I pull it, peel off, throw it away, and then the pad goes here, where fresh pads go, and when I have notes when I'm recording, whatever, I pull a fresh pad off right on it. So I have one, two, three, four pads there, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 sticky note pads on my desk at various oh, locations. Oh my gosh. You're... And then there's an additional, a bunch of other sticky notes. I have sticky notes everywhere. And then I have a drawer of sticky notes down oh, here. Oh my gosh. Hey. Is it the mother lid? Not quite. Because I'm using them all, but I have a lot down uh -huh. here. You're a sticky note psycho. That's what's going to get me on. The IRS be like, how do you spend $6,000 a year in sticky notes? I'm like, oh, let me show you my like, depth. I don't even know how to explain this, but uh, I'll try yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just take a picture and you send it to them. And they're like, oh, yeah. You, know, well, you, you fax it to them and you hear back in nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't listen to the other one, because he's an accountant, so he hates the IRS, right? You hate him? Oh, he allegedly. Just, allegedly. I... Dealing with the oh, IRS is hard because, you know, they're incredibly behind. And they're and, useless. Well, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. I mean, they uh, they they ask for annoying things. That sounds about right. I mean, that's any government agency. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a police officer. On traffic stops, I ask for annoying things like your license. Yeah. Like, I want to see that you're allowed to drive a car, okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I was just so annoying when I get pulled over all the time. You know, I get pulled over. Whatever. You would <laughs> never get pulled over. Yeah. Actually, they're coming here like, oh, it's such a personal. I'm surprised I haven't been pulled over yet. Why? Okay. For what? <laughs> Tell me about it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> My tabs are expired. Oh, are they right? Really? Yeah, they're, they expired in December. There's a <gasps> at, at work. There's a there's a one of our officers is a little RoboCop esque. I would describe him very like by the book. Yeah. Um. So like we when our tabs would get expired in the back behind the police department parked, he would get upset at us because and he would like yeah. threaten to write us parking tickets. Cause it's a parking violation in our city to have yeah. expired tabs and park on the street. Um. So what we would do. <laughs> Is we would, me and several coworkers would renew our tabs but never put the stickers on. So we were paying our dues. <laughs> and so he couldn't write us a parking ticket because he knew the tabs were good. <laughs> it's a traffic violation still, which we took the risk. I don't stop people for improper display of tabs, which is what it's called. But um, so it was so funny. We did it. It drove him nuts. Yeah. And we did it for years. <laughs> for years. Like we played the long game. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny. Anyhow, sorry. Was one saying. day he couldn't take it and he quit. <laughs> I mean, he's still there. Okay. Barely. I was gonna. I, I don't know who was gonna listen to this, so I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can and will be used against me in um, this podcast. An internal investigation internal at work. Investigation. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or just conversations outside of this because I don't hold on grudges, but these make great for conversation. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, pack five. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> They've been staring at them the whole time. They come up with their own story. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they probably have. Well, if people listen to it, they're just like, uh. Pack no. five says, big expansion. Yeah. Has a picture of something, and then it says, welcome to something. And it says, explore a new map lush with exciting crops. I'm still going to go with what I talked about before. Like, I, it's kind of like an Oregon Trail game. Like, the open world, like, <laughs> welcome back. I don't know. It just, it seems pioneery, if you will. Okay, okay. Because that's a word. There are some rundown buildings in that photo. Mm -hmm. Which is so interesting. You know what? Someone probably worked hard to build those, you know? So okay, well, I need to do better. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would have done a roof. Come on, guys. It's been part of its roof. Maybe it's not supposed to. I don't know why, but maybe it's some kind of early greenhouse. <laughs> It's not a very good early greenhouse. It's not put a roof on it. That's what's called the fields. Lush, exciting crops. See, the pack three is a box of different flowers. Lush. Well, I don't think there's specifically, specifically tulips. Of course. No, no, I knew no, you were no, going to no, go there. No. Well, I as soon as I said lush, exciting crops, and you smiled at me, yeah. I figured you were going to go with tulips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, what 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 could it possibly be? Do so, what do you guys have to look forward to? What's that? I was wondering if Thizi has an obsession with tulips. Yeah. Not, well, no. I just know that for his birthday, I'm named tulips now. <gasps> oh my gosh, you should. That'd be so sweet. Wouldn't it be? How many tulips do you want? Are we talking like six, seven hundred? 
not where I was expecting that oh, statement to go. Uh, vlog it. I mean, I mean, gosh. <laughs> This reminds me of our our friend. Yes, I the flower story. <laughs> yeah, the flower fantastic, story. Fantastic, fantastic story. story. I don't I don't know if we should tell that story, but um, we just couldn't tell any names, which would be fine. Yeah, well, we can tell the story. Yeah, yeah. we can tell the story. We can tell the names. So I had a a, a, a roommate. <laughs> and we all know him, so it's funnier yeah, for us, yeah, but yeah. it's still pretty funny. I had a roommate. I had a couple roommates, and one it was one of them. There's one. You can do this because it's it's three seventeen in the morning. Do you, you can help? We're all with um, I had multiple roommates, and it was one of their birthdays. And uh, we have another friend who's a, a very nice guy, um, but he texted the roommate that's not their birthday, asking how old um, the room. This is so confusing. The roommate whose birthday it was, and I think he was turning. 20, 20 or 21? I know. Or the older than that? I think maybe 22. 22? 22 or 23. 22 or 23. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they didn't know why this friend was asking, but then on his birthday, <laughs> delivered, <laughs> delivered to our house was a 22 or 23 roses. <laughs> One for each year. Yeah, one for each year. With no note saying who it was from. <laughs> oh god. And so, you know, it, it was just kind of it was just kind of weird as far as like just not well, I didn't know who they were from. My other roommate who was asked how old he was turning did know. And so he was like very confused and but he didn't think that much of it at the time. Yeah. And so the day kind of goes by. And my my roommate, who does know who they're from, um, comes in to the birthday boy's room, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know they're having a conversation. And he goes, "Oh, did you did you ever find out who sent you those flowers?" <laughs> and, oh. um, <laughs> and and the birthday boy was like, "No, uh, do you know who they're from?" And he goes like, uh, "Yeah, but but I, I promise you, I wouldn't tell." You're the one that I heard. Yeah, not, oh my gosh, that's so funny! And, and, and the funny she goes, "Huh?" <laughs> and then oh and then gosh. we proceeded to not tell him who it was from for like a year. I was gonna say it was like the next year. It was like his out. next birthday that he found out who they were from. <laughs> Yep. And, found uh, out probably disappointedly. <laughs> not a, word from a female. Was, was not a secret admirer. Oh, uh, gosh, that's what you would assume. You'd be like, yeah, because yeah, it was such a, it was such a good. I think it was fantastic because you would never expect. I would never expect a guy to send me roses. Yeah. on my birthday, I would yeah. never expect. No, it. I would think, what kind of what? Yeah, what secret? Like my mom? Like who? <laughs> yeah, he said. Like, I was like, my mom knows me. Yeah. and knows I would. Like, right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, one rose for each year. <laughs> so funny. It's, and so it's like funny. such a. It's like those that she knows them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right. like a stalker little right. catch. Yeah. On, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what do you guys think would be weird? One rose for each year, or just one rose? Okay, the one rose actually might be, might be creepier. <laughs> You're like, who put this one rose here? Yeah, yeah. Who, who did, and specifically delivered. Like, who just delivers a single, single rose, rose with no note saying who it's from? Yeah. Because that's, I mean, I think that's borderline. I think he should have committed more. He should have put from someone special on the. I don't know. I think he like, should have committed. The one rose seems kind of like a threat. <laughs> but, but the number of roses based off of the age you are. Shows like a little stalkery, like they know you. Yeah. They've they they've known you for a while at least enough to freak you out. And I don't know if that's much of a threat as as much of more like uh, <laughs> you're next and soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my like gosh, twenty three roses because this is your last year. <laughs> <laughs> your last year. Exactly. Yeah. Gosh. Oh man. Uh, little threat. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's that's what um. Yeah, you offering to get me tulips on my birthday made me think of. That's what that'll do. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. that's what that'll do. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I think pack five, you know, lush with exciting crops. It's going to be roses to stalk your friends. <laughs> Even though there's carrots on the photo that I yeah, yeah. Well, we're, yeah. we're going to, you know. Apparently that's the, the carrots are a decoy. 
Um, gotta be, gotta be tulips. Gotta be tulips. Gotta be tulips. I thought we were derailed completely from this, so I switched back to their yeah, train, yeah, no, but then right. we went right back yeah, to sorry, it. As I, soon as I went. I, I had we're to trying to do full circle, but again, it's 3.22 a.m. and our brains are fried. Yeah. Yeah. But this is fun. I'm this more awake true. than I should be for 3.20. No, well, actually, no. I, my excuse is I usually am up all night. So that's just normal. But the problem was, so last night I went to bed at 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I can't stay up all night again. I wanted to. But I was like, I got to go to bed. And then I went to bed. But I was so tired because I had only slept for like two or three hours that day. Mm -hmm. And my body was so sleep deprived from just working graveyard that I just kept sleeping. And my, my alarm went off at 10. I was like, no, it's good. Warm it up at 11. It's like, no, it's good. Alarm went off at noon. I shut it off. Woke up at 3.30. <laughs> 12 hours. After 12 hours Solid. of sleep. Wow. It was, I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. But I woke up and I was like, wow, I have people coming over at, at 7. I was like, I need yeah. to go to the store. And then I had to edit that video really quickly. <laughs> I had to edit together a video for my party and like my highlights of uh, body cam video. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I thought people watch all the way through. I was surprised it was that long, too. Yeah, but, it didn't feel uh, that long. Like it, didn't feel that it long. felt like twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, and it was. It was by the way, it was like an hour and seventeen minutes, or hour and thirteen, or something like that. Yeah, it was, it was a long. Time. It was over an hour. Yeah, yeah. I was entertained. It was entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, I yeah. see a lot of drunk people. Yeah, DUI <laughs> investigations are my favorite because they say some crazy stuff. Yeah, they oh, are my favorite. And they're so confident. Oh yeah. yeah, they're super confident. Yeah, exactly. Have you had anything to drink? I had two drinks, officer. I'm good to drive. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. It's always two drinks, or I've had a or couple. Not, I mean, yeah, it's always two drinks. That, or that last. Yeah. yeah. I should say this. I think I can safely say I, in terms of DUIs, 98 percent of DUIs that I arrest or talk to, or I'm on the call with someone else, it's either two drinks or less. Yeah. That's always their statement. Like either had one, like, and it's always a long time ago. When did you have your last drink? Like, nine hours ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, you started drinking at noon? <laughs> like, you, you, are you, sorry, you had your last drink at noon? Yeah. It's like, you're like, yeah. So you have none in your system now. Yeah. It's interesting, because you reek of alcohol when you open yeah. your mouth. But yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. But uh, we did have a, this is my favorite, I wasn't there for this. We had another officer that stopped this car that was just all over the road. Which, by the way, I will say this too. Most DUIs I arrest, they're not all over the road or anything like that. Like the standard, stereotypical yeah. DUI. Most of the time, they're actually doing pretty good, and I stop them for something else. Or it's like they don't have their headlights on because they're too drunk to realize their headlights are off. Like mm -hmm. stuff like that. But anyhow, so, this car's thrown all over. Pulls them over. They pull over. As he's walking up to the car, this lady leans out the car, looks back at him, said, Officer, I am trying to sober up. Oh. <laughs> so... So she did get arrested. Spoiler alert. I would think so. But it was so oh, like, boy. how do you go up to them with a straight face? I'd be like, I, I guess you're under arrest. Well, she might have a straight face, but she doesn't have a straight mind. That's true. Mm -hmm. Right now, I had my best statements that I've ever gotten from a drunk driver was this guy drove and he left the roadway at approximately. This is my estimate based on the damage. I'm a collision investigator. My estimate is he left the roadway at about 50 miles an hour in a residential neighborhood. Oh my, God. my goodness! And he went into a house. Oh. He went through their front door, and there was like uh, the house was like on a hill, so there's a retaining wall that was about four feet. And there's his neighbor's house. Oh. He hit one car or hit two cars that were in the driveway and plowed them into the house and with him. And then another car he pushed over the retaining wall and it rolled into the neighbor's car in their driveway. So it went like forty feet. Wow, great! Like it was crazy. I've never seen so many cars involved. Oh and God. I get there, and he was injured, but not like that badly. So he was laying outside the car. I mean. And so I, I walk up to him, like, and I, I have to prove he's driving, so obviously I didn't see him crash. So that's, like, the hardest thing when we show up to, like, police, I have to prove they're driving. But usually they're drunk, so they're not very the brightest, which is great for us. But I walked up to him, I was like, and the car was registered to him, so it was pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for one, he had a suspended driver's license, so he shouldn't have been driving anyways. So I talked to him, I was like, I was like, hey, were you driving? He was like, yeah. I was like, have you had anything to drink tonight? And he goes, oh, yeah, I should not have been driving. And I was like, and I literally was so taken aback by it that I did. I was like, I didn't know what else to say. I was yes. like, I was like, all right. And he smelled like alcohol and the driving. I was like, well, that's more than enough for a warrant to get your blood. And I was like, all right, that's all I need, I guess. I was like, medic can take you now. So yeah. it was so funny. But um, thankfully, no one was hurt, even the people in the car. Yeah. And he had, he had a passenger in the car, too, that as soon as the collision happened, fled. Oh. So I chased him down first because when I got there, there was a bunch of witnesses. They're like, he was driving, and it wasn't him at all. But so I ran up a hill after this guy for two blocks till I mm -hmm. caught up to him. And another officer went there. Then I ran back to the collision scene because I knew there was another guy there. And when I found out he was the driver, I was like, oh, that guy's driving. So I ran back to the collision scene to that guy. It was so, it was just ridiculous. Yeah. And he also was required to have an ignition airlock. 
from his previous DUI he got a year ago. Oh, wow. And he did not have one of those either. So that's a misdemeanor in Washington. So he gets charged with three misdemeanors. Oh, my. So, yeah, that was lovely. Shouldn't be driving, that's for sure. Yeah. But, um, I want to see that insurance claim. <laughs> you didn't have insurance. No, no, no. The, the home for the homeowner. Yeah. <laughs> well, thankfully. Oh, oh, and it was so. I felt so bad. So that that same the same couple that lived at that house mm-hmm. earlier that week. I kid you not, have been held up and robbed at knife point in our city. <gasps> they were having such a rough week. That was a rough oh. week. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I felt felt so bad for them. They're like, they were just like crying. I was like, it's okay. We'll, you know, because it like wasn't. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. But they were in their life differently. They're like, oh, we got held up earlier. And I didn't know about it. So I was like, okay, you know, I just like, okay, what? You know, you just think whatever at the moment. Then my, like, we we're doing briefing the next day and like, oh, those are the people that got held up last week. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, those poor people. <laughs> so they had a rough week, but I felt really bad for them. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, th- yeah. You think that qualifies as an act of God? <laughs> it's an insurance term. An act of God. <laughs> yeah, it's an insurance term. Yeah. 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 It's uh, not what I'm going to defend. It's an act of God. <laughs> what? The car didn't fall from the sky. I mean, it kind of did. He got air because he went over. He went over a curb. He had to. Have. I can tell you, it was so interesting. So there was, there was like a gap of like ten or fifteen feet where there was no car tracks, and you can see where the car landed again. Oh gosh! And then plowed into everything. That's crazy. It was crazy. I had another car, another call where I went to a collision. Where it's so interesting, and as a, I, I, that's why I'm a collision investigator. It's so interesting to see how things happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like obviously when people get hurt, but um, this story no one got hurt either, which is honestly a miracle. But this car went off the roadway on the highway, went into a ditch, and there was like someone's driveway there. So then it used that as a ramp. It didn't stop the car. It used it as a ramp. It went, uh, and I, I can based on how far it went, it had to have gone about 30 or 40 feet in the air straight up and then it went back down and it, it head first and it landed like that <gasps> like just on the front of it just like sticking out of the ground like you'd shot an arrow in the ground that was a car wow what? it was ridiculous and i knew that because there was no damage you saw where it went off the road and went up over that and there was no damage until it landed that's insane i'm sorry ridiculous. did it stay like that it then fell forward okay but... i was gonna say there's no way yeah like equilibrium the velocity that i'm yeah. assuming that it is carrying it is, there's no boop, way without and then it was crazy ridiculous but yeah so i've wow. seen some crazy things at collisions but that's nuts yeah that's nuts that's crazy you know what else was nuts we're awake right now Can't and we're over an hour we are over an hour so we can probably call it no one's gonna listen to us anymore they hate us after an hour that's i'm just good. kidding that's not true at all <laughs> I'd listen. everybody tunes out after fun. an hour yeah probably <laughs> I had some. It's actually a farmer that watches this, and he was, he was, he was like upset. Not really upset, but like jokingly upset with me about how he's like, "Oh, you guys need to keep posting more podcasts," because he was like, it was like during harvest season Aww. for him, and he listened to him when he's at yeah. harvest. I was like, "It's so I, nice. I listen to the podcast while I work. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I'm always looking for podcasts while I work. It's always good to have you on the show, especially when you're an avid fan. Yeah. An avid, wow. Avid. Way to just turn your body away from me for you want to do a podcast. I listen to part of one. No, the reason that I okay, I would listen to it. But, okay, let me just get the record straight. I would listen to it more, but if I, I was prefer, on it less, so that's no. People. I mean, yes, but <laughs> kidding, kidding. Oh, but because I listen on Spotify, but I know you benefit more from YouTube, so I try that's to true. watch it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. And so that's why I don't watch it as much as because right. I'm usually on Spotify. Well, mm. if it makes if it makes you feel better, um, I watch on YouTube with ad block, so. Uh, Barber, so it doesn't help me. Barber Cop does not get any money from that. <laughs> but he would get, he but would get, true he man. Would, he would get more thing. money if I listened on Spotify. I don't get any money. I don't get any money. Then that just be really sad. I don't actually even know. I haven't looked into it because we're not obviously that popular of a podcast, which is fine. This is like this is probably like one of the few things I do that loses me money, technically speaking. Well, because yeah. it costs me more money to do it than I ever make off of it. Because I don't make very much off of like like I think I get like about a thousand views per. Mm-hmm. per podcast which is so in case so you guys are just you guys get insight here to monetization that's about three to six dollars six dollars is a high end yeah. so i make about four to five bucks probably realistically on each podcast so mm-hmm. an hour of my time is not worth four to five dollars i worked an hour of overtime i work it'd be far more money than that so it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's like it's uh but i don't i do it because i i enjoy it and there are people out there that enjoy it mm-hmm. and i really enjoy hanging out with like you guys and yeah. with like t who normally is on here yeah. but um yeah, I'm just replacing him. Apparently, yeah, you're the new co-host. Sorry, T. Wait, what am I supposed to be? You're, you're, you're the you're guest. guest. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is just your first time here. Yeah, so. second time you come here, co-host. Yeah. So, yeah, second time in one week. 
Okay, yeah. but the question is, is it going to be at 2.16 a.m. again? Every time. And you have Every to have time. a bunch then of Mountain Dew Then I'll be before. here. <laughs> then I'll be here. <laughs> Just give me some Dew and I'll do it. I'm on I'm on day shift. Adrian's knocking the door at 2.16. Don't say your name. Avery. Avery is knocking the door. Well, I don't know. I'd be great. Avery's knocking the door at 2.16 for two months. Yeah, it is. Because how many times you've said my name? Yeah, I'm like, he was worried about saying my name, but I know. I, I, like, I said it six times now. Sure. Yeah. You, you're the only one that's messed uh, up. Uh, no, I, know. I did mess Typical. up because I said oh. the beginning part of your name and then ended it. Oh, I, for some reason, I was just thinking that was uh, Farmer Cop. Nah, but I messed just, up one time. He just time. assumes it's me. Yeah. I mean, sure. based off of. Shut up, phone. What? <laughs> Two <laughs> notifications. You're so popular. Two more emails and a PayPal notification. I don't like that. Who stole my money? I'm just kidding. Awkward. Me. I don't know how to tell you this. Uh, happy New Year, it's me. <laughs> You're nervous. My first arrest of the year. My first arrest. Nice. I was so I'm funny. Like, 2023. <laughs> I was out really trying to like get like DUI arrest. I was like, I gotta get my DUI numbers yeah. up for the year. I mean, you're awake. You should probably just go to work. Might as well. I, I, mean, I actually can't. It's my day off. Oh. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I took yesterday off on vacation because I was like, I don't want to come to work for my last graveyard shift. But tonight, I can't go in. Mm. Yesterday, I could have just gone in. Oh, they're like, why are you here? I'm like, because I don't make good life decisions. <laughs> I feel that right now. I haven't stayed up this late in a long time. Yeah, but I am so awake right now. <sighs> I could call work, but you guys need me right now. I'm like, no, we have several officers working, and it's our slowest time. We're fine. I'll come. I'll come cover. What? <laughs> We don't need you. you. Tell one of them they can go home. They're like, so many of them would have to go home you know before what? we hit minimum staffing. Tell three of them they can go home. We'll just go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Two yeah. unframed. I mean, the city's never home. been safer. We're, all, we're already awake. We might as well go. We're all right jacked up on Mountain Dew. I've, I've had shifts where I've worked it with me and another officer, which wow. is crazy Yeah. for our city size, which I always give a range of 25 to, to 100,000 people. It's yeah. in that range. Mm. So I always give that range because it broadens it out. But yeah, because uh, people don't know where we're at. I don't but, even know where exactly in that range we are. Yeah, I know exactly where we're at. Honestly, I have no idea what you just said. Yep. I kind of zoned out. It's, right, Avery. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think we call it there. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to get I better. Think we stopped making sense a while ago. Yeah, yeah. words kept kind of lost. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you guys are still here, you definitely should like and subscribe because <laughs> this is pretty much the standard on my channel. Does that mean I have to like and subscribe? Um, That's awkward. Yeah, you're still here. You got to like and subscribe? <laughs> no, I am. Okay, so to say, you're out of this off. I'm going to edit everything you said out of the podcast. Okay, I, 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 haven't, I haven't rung the bell. But you what know. bell? Oh, don't, 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 don't ring that bell. Oh, Unless you actually watch my stuff. You guys should ring it. <laughs> yeah, you during the active active watchers of Farmer Cop. Yeah, yeah active yeah. watchers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of people watching this for the tutorials, which is fine. But I wish if everyone everyone that was subscribed watched every video I posted, you'd make so yeah. much more money. So much more money. So much more money. Yeah. So, it's actually ridiculous. I would make thirty times as much. Wow. You should work on that. Yeah, can you guys just do better? Happen. And if you're one of the subscribers that watches everything, have you just watched it ten times? <laughs> you know, you yeah, gotta make up for the rest. Yeah, make it up for the rest. Watch all the ads. No, I'm just kidding. Watch all the ads. <laughs> hey, um, guys, if you enjoyed, we're all good. Avery, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> TZ, say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Happy New Year. If you guys, if you guys enjoyed <laughs> this video, please drop a like click down below or follow the podcast. Yeah. If you enjoyed all of the um, banter and the random stories, chaos. then the hopefully tulips. it'll happen again soon. You know what? I think that we're banking on the tulips. I think we're right. Yeah. I'm ready for some Heidi Farmer Cop simulator. Yeah, yeah. I mean, go. if you like pure anarchy, you'll definitely like our podcast. So <laughs> yeah, um, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> and on that note, you guys have a wonderful night. We're going to call it there. Goodbye, everyone.